afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Stock Market Today. It's Alyssa Quorum here. I'm joined by Ed Carson. And on today's show, we're going to be taking a look at Netflix, Amazon, and Domino's. But before we get to that, let's take a look at the major indexes. So this is a chart of the NASDAQ here, and we were able to finish... Uh, mixed at session highs, I guess you could say the S&P and Dow down for the day, though. The Dow down about 1.4%, the S&P down 1%, but the NASDAQ was able to reverse higher, closing up about a half a percent for the day. So I guess underscoring the strength that we're seeing in tech right now. Yeah, and actually the relative strength line for the NASDAQ hasn't been that great during the actual rally. You know, you can point to that sort of that blue line near the bottom, and it did, it helped, did very well during the crash. But then you saw the beaten down stocks have a better time. But today was really a, a strong day for growth. You saw the Netflix go, Netflix and Amazon. We'll talk about them later. But some of these growth names and the tech names uh, outperformed, uh, rallying into the close. So it was nice to see all the indexes basically close at session highs. And uh, so fairly positive day, especially after such huge gains last week. Mm, yeah, that's right. And let's take a look at a few names on our radar, starting off with Netflix. Now, this really was on our radar mm. right at the beginning of the session today. We talked about it on IBD Live, strengthened. Uh, into the session, closing up about 7% today, above average turnover. Uh, nice to see Netflix perking up here because it's essentially been moving sideways for about two years now. Yeah, I mean, you can look at this base as in itself, it sort of cleared a handle type of thing, and then it cleared above the, the high uh, in this situation, getting to like a 52 week high. But you can also look at it from a weekly chart, and this base looks like a handle in a really long consolidation. Either way, however you look at it, this stock is, a, is in a buy zone, looking pretty strong. Uh, all the stocks we're going to talk about today are coronavirus plays. I mean, right. you know, people are stuck at home. They're watching Netflix. They're going to, they're, they're ordering things on Amazon and they're, they're buying pizza. And so they're, it's, you can live your life off of Netflix, Amazon, and Domino's. And uh, Netflix is definitely a big part of that coronavirus and chill. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, a lot of people were, I think, uh, rightly so worried about the competition from Disney, all these other streaming platforms coming online. Uh, but Netflix has been able to show it can hold its own and still turn out that, you know, viral content from Tiger King to Love is Blind. So the story is definitely still there. So we'll definitely keep an eye on this one. Yeah, there was also some app downloads. And over the weekend, right. I said there was enormous app downloads. It was not just a story. There's actual seem to be real facts that it was really strong mm -hmm. during that day. Mm -hmm. Yes, numbers to back up that story. And now let's take a look at Domino's, our second coronavirus play here. It looks like it was able to clear a cup with handle buy point today at 353.52. Now we've been keeping an eye on Domino's as it's been forming this handle area breaking out today, not really seeing the volume though. No, that was disappointing. I mean, you wanna see volume that's 40% or more above average because that suggests big institutions are stepping in, not just you and I buying a pizza's worth of shares. You know, you wanna see real volume, but still, I mean, you know, not you can't always have everything and low volume breakouts can work. Mm -hmm. uh, this stock broke out before the coronavirus, uh, crisis on strong earnings. I mean, obviously it came down, but it held up reasonably well, held up at the 200 day line, bounced back, relative strength line looks strong. And, uh, you know, it's, it's acting well, not the prettiest pattern, but then there's not many pretty patterns right. when the market goes straight down and, and is trying to go straight back up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and now with that, let's take a look at the chart of Amazon. A little bit messy itself, V-shaped cup here, but a nice gain over 6% today. And it's now nearing its uh, prior high back over here, 2185.95. Yeah, and like Domino's, it broke out just before the coronavirus crisis came down. Uh, the company is apparently restarting non-essential shipments. It's hiring another 75,000 workers on top of the 100,000 it was already hiring. There's, the demand is just enormous mm -hmm. right now. For, for all sorts of products. Nobody wants to go to the grocery stores. It's always, you know, I feel like I want to hold my breath when I go into the grocery store okay. for the next 20 minutes. But, uh, you know, just the performance is really strong here. Um, 
you know, we'll have to see how it goes. It didn't quite hit a buy zone, but boy, it made, mm -hmm. made a really good progress today and over the last couple of weeks. Yeah, closing uh, right close to session highs for the day, that also encouraging. And, you know, back to what you were saying about grocery stores, it's kind of interesting because if any part of brick and mortar was holding up, that would be the area. But I mean, if you go on the Amazon app or Prime Now, it's, it's a very competitive thing to get one of those delivery spots to get your fresh items. I mean, they are just booked up completely. It's pretty incredible. So uh, like you said, the demand really is there. All right. And with that, uh, we will leave you for the day, but thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to check out IBD Live tomorrow morning where the conversation will continue uh, discussing trade ideas, those actionable stocks, stocks on our watch list, as well as what we're seeing in the overall market as this rally continues. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow.